Hey you guys, it's your girl Tina. I hope everybody's doing good today. So I have this store and it's coming from Awful Ass Alabama, honey. Now we have not had a store from Awful Alabama in quite some time, okay? So what's going down in Alabama is this. We have a 19 year old girl. Her name is Mackenzie Guffey. And basically Mackenzie got herself knocked up, okay? So what do most young girls do when they find themselves in a situation where they're pregnant, but they're broke, really don't have no money? They go down to Medicaid and they go apply for insurance and, you know, WIC and all that stuff, right? So she goes down to Medicaid and they ask her the standard question, who is the father? And she puts on there the father's name and his birth date, okay? Then once the people, the, the social workers are reading through all this, so now they're looking at the form like, hold up, the year of birth for this baby daddy says 2003. Meaning that if he was born in 2003, he ain't but 14 damn years old. What kind of shit is this? So then they confront her about it and this bitch was proud, honey. She was like, yeah, that's my baby daddy. Yeah, he's only 14. Yeah, he pulled it on me and I got pregnant. Well, I don't know if she said all that, but the bitch was kind of proud, okay? So they decided to call the police and further investigate. And now this bitch has been arrested for child molestation, rape, and on top of that, her and the 14-year-old were, you know, swapping naked pictures of each other, and she was going out and picking him up from his house. His parents did not know. They had no idea. She was picking this young boy up and taking him out to the woods, honey, and fucking the shit out of him in the damn car, and that's how her ass got knocked up. I want you guys to go ahead and try out this new story, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my time. woman is charged with the rape of her unborn baby's father, who's just 14 years old. She is 19 and also charged with making a pornographic video with him. WFO 48 Stephen McLam joins us live from our Sand Mountain newsroom with the latest on that story. Stephen? Well, police say that they discovered a phone video the girl made of her victim and add that her phone has numerous images that they're now going through. 19-year-old Mackenzie Lee Guffey is facing numerous charges, including rape, enticing a child, sex abuse, possession and dissemination of child porn, and traveling to meet a child for an unlawful sex act. Hollywood police say Guffey would drive to her victim's home, pick him up, and take him to a remote location known as the Sand Barges near the Tennessee River off County Road 588 for sex. Police say that happened several times during the course of their relationship, which began dating back to December. Chief Jason Hepler says they often obtain search warrants for electronic devices in sex abuse cases, which led them to the video on her phone, which Hepler says she sent to that victim. Hepler says the rape was discovered when Guffey went to get government assistance for herself and her unborn child. It's a case where the, um, the offender had went to apply for government insurance and listed that she was pregnant and she was pregnant by a 14 year old. So then they went from there and contacted DHR. Guffey was initially arrested on Friday, but she was released this afternoon on just over $45,000 bond. Reporting live from the Sand Mountain Newsroom. All right, so you guys just saw that news clip, and this entire situation is just re damn ridiculous, okay? First of all, you're 19 years old, meaning that you're over the age of 18, meaning that you have no business fucking somebody who's still in the damn eighth grade. And the fact that she's proud of her handiwork and she saw nothing wrong with this says a lot about her. And this is what I've been saying on my channel from day one. You have just as many female predators out here who are just as ratchet, who are just as disgusting as these male pedophiles and they get a slap on the wrist or they get excused because they're females and this is no excuse. If this was a 19 year old boy who got a 14 year old girl pregnant, best believe his ass would be in jail and he'd be facing time. And I'm glad that the state of Alabama is pressing charges on her and right now she could face up to 20 years in prison. So this whole situation is just really unfortunate and it makes no sense because it could have been prevented. First of all, you're committing a crime because you're fucking a 14 year old eighth grader, okay? Second of all, if you know you're gonna be fucking a little kid, why are you not using protection? Like, it just makes no sense to me. How are you just having sex with a 14 year old raw without thinking to yourself like, damn, even though he's 14, he could still knock me up like he was a 20 year old man. Like, like, how does that not come across your mind? And then once she gets pregnant, instead of her, you know, having an abortion and, you know, hiding this whole shit and calling it off, oh no, she decides to go downtown and go get some damn Medicaid and have the nerd to put the boy's name on there when she easily could have just put down unknown. I don't know who the baby daddy was. They ran a train on me. It could be a number of people. But nobody would have known anything had it not been for her just volunteering all this information. 
So it just shows you how stupid some people are. And what's even more scary is how much is this going on in the real world? How many people right now are getting assistance or, you know, have a baby on the way and they're really pregnant by like a teenage boy, but they're lying and saying that it's their husband's baby or, you know, they don't know who the father is when they know that they're fucking a 14 or 15 year old. You know, it's just really, really sad. and It's just really, really crazy. And, you know, she should know better. And the fact that she just had no shame, she was proud and she saw nothing wrong with this. Her ass needs to go to jail. Cause like I said, this was a 19 year old boy who got a 14 year old girl pregnant. He'd be locked up. And at the end of the day, She's pregnant and you're bringing a child into this world and you're making a 14 year old child a father before he's ready to become a father. You know, I just find the whole situation is really, really sad and disturbing. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire awful ass situation, honey. Once again, coming from awful ass Alabama. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.